Last week on Huskies Unleashed, we took an in-depth look at the team's strength and conditioning training. All the way down, up. The women's soccer team uh, so far has really impressed me this year. Um, every time they come in the weight room, they make me laugh, which is really important. We have fun, uh, but they really do take the training seriously and they believe in, in what we're trying to do with them. We also followed the Huskies as they took on UConn and BU in their first two games of the regular season. Huskies Unleashed starts right now. Week four for the Huskies began with functional and tactical practices to prepare for the first home game of the season. Practices have been going really well actually, um, this, especially this week. Uh, we started training functionally, um, working on our shape, our attacking shape out of the back especially, um, and our defensive shape. Both games this past weekend we played really well. BU is obviously a great team and we watched the video on BU and just saw that our attacking shape out of the back, we were so tight the whole time that we couldn't really get an attacking shape. So this week in practice we worked on attacking shape and just really trying to get our backs forward and getting deeper and wider and just getting everybody popped out. So you guys, when once we win the ball, get attacking shape and then try to find our forwards. The girls did a great job listening to what we had to say and taking the information and really applying it on the field. So it practice has been great this week. Practices are definitely more intense than what I was used to at home or like in high school. You also have the support of your teammates like pushing you on to do your best and then you have your coaches like challenging you to do like things that you aren't used to but at the same time they're like there to support you and to correct you when you need to be like corrected and something that you're doing so yeah practices were difficult but um, easy to keep up with with the support of like your teammates and your coaches. I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. It's one of the larger cities in, on the island of Oahu in the state of Hawaii. I've played soccer since I was a little girl. I have a very large family and so I've always had a lot of supporters coming to my games and um, it was a lot of fun growing up and playing soccer as a little girl up and to like middle school through high school and club soccer and yeah, it was a ton of fun. Uh, the coaching staff is a big, big um, reason why I came to Northeastern. Tracy, uh, Linz, and Ash, they're all like super good people, not just coaches. That was a big reason why I chose Northeastern because I knew that I'd be well taken care of when I was so far away from home. Lahaina, we call her Lolo, um, she is a stud. Tracy found her first and when I saw her play, because Tracy just kept talking about her, saying you gotta watch this girl, she's a stud. So finally when I got to see her play, I was like, yep, that's Northeastern's. That's Northeastern's player right there because she is a little buzzer. She's awesome, she's great on the ball, she's fast and uh, she's good in the air and she's, she's just a tiny little thing but she's, she's awesome. So we're so excited to have her on the team and she's just a great person also. And um, she, she brings a lot of creative mindset up top and dangerous, you know, she's very dangerous on the ball and just her runs are dangerous because she's so quick. The freshmen have been awesome actually. Um, they're a great group. They're pretty tight. I think all of them were Facebooking before they came in so they know each other really well already. Um, you know, it's expected that freshmen are obviously nervous and, and coming in, um, maybe don't know the level of fitness that they need to be at. So there aren't that many freshmen that came in and passed the fitness test, but they all did very well on it. Um, and as time's going on, they're getting fitter during practice, during games, um, and 
know, our freshmen are great. They get along really well with each other. The team's really taking to them, um, and they have good personalities. So, yeah, they're awesome. The first day as a freshman, I was naturally, like, really nervous and um, really anxious to, like, get back on the field with, like, a new team, a new coaching staff. Um, but as time went on, like, it, it began to become, like, a little less nervous, a little more fun. We hang out a lot. We, um, we always eat together. Um, when we don't have team things, we're um, doing our nails, like <laughs> watching movies, just having fun together and like getting to know each other as people, not just as teammates. In preseason, I was able to room with Veronica, and she played as a like a really strong mentor. She like encouraged me when I needed help. Like before our fitness test, I was so like nervous and scared, and she took it upon herself to make sure that I felt comfortable and like reassured me that I'd be I'd do fine. And um, so she was a big impact on me during preseason. And now it's just a ton of fun. Like we we know each other a lot better, and we're like beginning to play together, and it's just a new fun experience for me to play on this new team. Friday night saw the Huskies' first home game of the regular season, taking on the Greyhounds of Loyola at Parsons Field. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Parsons Field for today's Go and You broadcast of Northeastern University's women's soccer. Um, as always, we want to thank you for logging in to Go and You and joining us on this beautiful evening in Brookline, Massachusetts. My name is Kristen Blake, and I'm uh, joined tonight by George Gardner. And here we go, kickoff. Um, right away, Kylie Smith is going to get it outside to freshman uh, Maria. They're going to head upfield. You can already see a, a difference from the first two games. That, uh, Tracy Leon, head coach here at Northeastern, has made a switch, and uh, Hillary Savoy is uh, anchoring the back line in the center, and she's pushed up uh, Kelly Matthews into the midfield. We are going forward. She's Veronica wide. This is where Veronica is so dangerous. Into the box. Goal, Northeastern. Greta Samuel's daughter for the first goal of the year. Oh, and they're calling it offside. Oh, that's a tough call. Look at Bianca making that run out of the back. It's a great ball by Hannah. Veronica's in. Let's see what she does with it. That's a goal. Oh, well yeah. done by Veronica. It's a great pass by Hannah Terry. And Veronica Napoli with one last chance here. She gets by the first defender, toe pokes it. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> well done, Stephanie Rayola. There was about 0.9 seconds left, and the flag no, is up in the corner. Oh. oh. No goal. Oh, what an exciting play right before the buzzer. Good half, but the game ain't over yet. All right, we judge our game based on, based on the full 90. All right, the full 90. They're going to come out. They're going to come out at us. All right, they didn't come all this way. You just hang out for 45 minutes. Right. Yep. Yep. Go after them. Put them down. Put them down. Kill them. Goals, goals, goals. All right? Happy birthday! One, two, three. Husky! 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 Now that's actually got a second goal of the game, but unfortunately only the first one that counts. What's so nice about that one is that ball was about waist high. So to be able to bring your leg up and bring that ball down into the goal, I mean, it looked like an easy routine goal, but it's not quite as easy as it looks. Yeah, that's tough to, to not hit that ball over the net. Yeah, oh, here we go. Grata on a break. Oh my oh, God. That's taken, that's PK. Be PK. How about a red card? But again, that's Kirby Anderson, a great ball in for Greta. And Okay. And so uh, Kirby's oh. going to take this, and Kirby, I mean, unbelievable. Has, has she scored a goal case. before? She has her freshman year when we were in the NCAA um, tournament. Oh, yeah. Well done by Kirby. She just, she walks up to that PK line, so cool, calm, and composed. That's the game. It's an impressive 3-0 three, three win by um, the Northeastern Huskies here. Friday's game was really good. We were like ready to bounce back from BU. 
Um, everyone was really up for it and like I think winning 3-0 was a great confidence boost for our team, especially after the BU game as well. But um, yeah, it went really well. The team played great. Thank you for joining us for Huskies Unleashed as we followed the Northeastern University women's soccer team in their preparation for the 2011 season. Through the past four weeks, we followed the players as they came back to campus, showcased their fitness, and started their practices at Parsons Field. We took an in-depth look at Northeastern's goalkeepers and watched as they and their teammates competed in a preseason match against Providence College. We also joined the team in their strength and conditioning workouts and watched the players as they had fun off the field and in the pool. Make sure to come to Parsons Field or watch Go New Extreme online to support the Huskies as they strive for a CAA championship this season. I'm feeling very confident for this season. Um, I know three games isn't a lot, but I think. I'm just really confident and I have really high hopes for us this year. Um, and you can tell it's after three games that like we're going to do big things this year. <laughs>